I'm going to try to introduce a practical example of consumer surplus and producer surplus to help you understand this concept a little bit better. Often when a company like Nintendo introduces a new product like the Nintendo Wii, they just don't have enough of it. There always seems to be a shortage. There always seems to be a line. Um, and what they're trying to do is capture these ideas of consumer surplus or they're trying to reduce consumer surplus. Let me explain. Now, in the old supply and demand model, we have an equilibrium price. And consumer surplus is the area above the equilibrium price. Producer surplus is the area below equilibrium price, which means there's people that would be willing to supply at a lower price. But in this market, there's only one supplier. I hope you understand this. Now, what we learn is at these prices, there's people all along this demand curve that are willing to buy this product. Let's say it's Nintendo Wii. So let's say that they have decided they want to do that at that price and that quantity. What they do is they begin to have a supply at a higher price and a lower quantity. So in essence, what they're trying to do is capture all those people that would be paying an above market price for this product. The purple area is the area that shifts from consumer surplus to producer surplus now. And once the they capture all this market or these people that would be willing to pay high prices, what they begin to do then is they increase their supply and it becomes at a market level. 